All right, let's get out of here. There's no reason for us to be here anymore. We we got what we need to. Yeah, we we secured the route. Let's just get out of here. It's been a long, long day. Holy shit. It really has been a long day. But look at all that stuff we've done. Look at it. This is a long infiltration log. I could skip this, but I just want you guys to see how long this palace is. Look at it. Look, look, look at it. Look how long this is. That's nuts. Yes. Anyways, we need to send a calling card. Yeah, I'll let you know, Futaba, when we get back, I guess. Okay. You did great, you tired? That said, we just barely made it in time. We gotta head straight to the hideout tomorrow. We were finally able to get into the main assembly hall. That means we're ready to send the calling card too. When should we do it? We must consider the method by we should consider the method by which we will send it as well. All those guys cheering for Shido better be ready. We're gonna surprise the shit out of them. I can't wait for this. BTW, where's Makoto? She's in this chat, right? Yes, don't worry, I've been reading it. You seem anxious. Well, it's about a Kachikun, is it not? That was really sad what happened to him. Honestly, I have mixed feelings, but I think he was a victim too. A victim we couldn't save. Had I not met you all, I may have become like him as well. Personally speaking, I can't forgive the guy. But more importantly, I can't forgive Shido for, for warping his mind so goddamn much. I must agree, what Shido did was reprehensible. We must do this. I'm certain we will be able to pull it off. It'll just be like always. Yes, it's best not to get too worked up over this. As for the timing, that is on you, Kazuma. Akechi saved us all in the end. I think in his heart, he might not have been so bad. <sighs> hey. Let's succeed on this mission, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, for Akechi's- for Akechi's sake. Anyways, I want a massage. <laughs> just- just what? a sudden- sudden whiplash of, like, mood and shit. You're so stiff. Like right here, master. Yeah, I know, I feel lighter. Thanks, girlfriend. Alright, anyways, um, so we're pretty much free to do whatever we want. I say that, but <laughs> we, we know, we guys know this for like, how many weeks now? Um, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go hang out with the twins again. Trust me, we need to hang out with them. Hi! What are you gonna do today? Where we're going today? Now. An odd feature of the city where slaves attend to the needs of visitors. Apparently, the slaves in this camp refer to the visitors as master, and their behavior can even be controlled to some degree. I wonder how this compares to our devotion to our own master. This could be a strong example for the inmate. Are we talking about the maid cafe? It's the maid cafe. What'll you do? We're going to the maid cafe. Hmm. What does it make that? What is it that makes it a cafe maid? Is it the slaves? I want to find out. Me we shall do just that, inmate. Take us there immediately. <laughs> Words are stupid. Oh. So this is a slave camp. The decor is bizarrely cheery for such a horrid place. I'm surprised though one is operating. <laughs> I'm surprised one is operating in the heart of a city like this. I had originally thought such places would be will need to hide in the shadows, far from public security or public Welcome scrutiny. Home. <laughs> Welcome home, master. Hi, Clara. Are you address are you addressing me? You are sorely mistaken about who is your master. We have come here to observe fully, Justine. Don't worry, we'll free here when we're finished. Hey you! Yes, master. Tell me, why are you grinning like that? You're a slave! Huh? A slave? Whatever do you mean, master? Uh, maybe you're ordered to smile, but what? You do you lack a will of rebellion or are you just naturally submissive? Well, master. Uh, I don't know. What is this, is what is with this insufferable? Hey, inmate, 
Do you really think you could get proper rehabilitation here? I don't know. What was that? You're looking to get executed? Caroline. Calm yourself, Caroline. Oh, aren't you just the cutest? <laughs> Watch it. You think laughing at your masters is proper discipline? <gasps> oh, now I get it. You're here for the discipline service, is that it? Then listen up, you little shrimp! What? what? Quit gawking at me in order already! You wanna get jabbed with one of those tiny little shrimp forks? Out with it! She's thrown off the yoke of oppression. What did I just say? Order! Or do you need a menu? If you can even read, is that it? Little baby, can't we do menu? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, just the usual service, actually. Absolutely. As you wish, Master. Here's the menu. What can I bring you today? W what's wrong with her? Her mood changes in an instant. <sighs> Such versatility. Could she possess the potential for the power of the wild card? Well, never mind that. We are to focus on the matter at hand. What could this be? Love Star Pancake? What did they put in it? Nothing suspicious, I hope. <laughs> it's love! They put love in it? How is that possible? Love isn't a physical substance. Have they even, have they been scamming you here? I mean, not really. Let's order something else. In that case, let's go with the sincere omelette. As you wish, master. Oh, oh no, I, I messed it up. Please forgive me, master. Are you joking? How dare you? Fix this right now. You can beg for forgiveness once I've received a perfectly sincere meal. But, but I filled it with love. Wah! Damn it! Don't even try that fake cry act on me. Fix it! Double time! I'm not letting you off until it's right! N no, I, I can't! I tried so, so hard! But I'm just so clumsy! I even practice a ton and... and... Uh, uh hey! How could you make this poor slave cry like that? Fine, fine, I'll say I'm sorry. Look, say, I mean, maid. I'm sorry, I'll eat it, I'll eat it. Just stop crying. <laughs> you will? Yay, thank you so much. Would you care for some uh, hot tea to go with it? I also recommend a relaxing coffee. I promise to pour all my heart into making them for you. Fine, just bring whatever. <sighs> this has been so tiresome. Even the people being served had to behave a certain way. I struggle to comprehend why it's so complicated. And yet people here are willing to pay good money to partake in this master servant charade. The lengths that humans will go uh, to hold positions of power, their desires truly appear to be limitless. Anyway, we hereby deem your assignment complete. Here's your reward. Is it something good? Oh, Tetraja! Dakunda! Dakaja! Tetraja will, will, I, Tetraja will ironically would have been helpful in that fight against Akechi. <laughs> it's fine. I feel as though we saw a side of humanity today that was new to us. As a matter of fact, this isn't a, this isn't a new event to us at this point. We do seem to witness curious new fa facets of humanity with each special assignment we undertake. Most intriguing indeed. But the only thing that matters to you is your rehabilitation. And don't you forget it. I wonder what happened to Akechi. I mean, we could assume he's dead, but is he really dead? I don't know. After we heard the gunshot on the other side of the shutters, Futaba said there was no readings left. Is this me we'll never meet again? No. I want to keep our promise. We'll meet again someday. I do still have that promise with Akechi to duel again someday. You no, know, Akechi would especially hate having it to end with, with his defeat. True. He wouldn't He wouldn't take this lying down. Oh well, there's nothing I can do now. I need sleep. Hey. 
Yeah, I know the election's in two days. Shut up. I know the deadline's almost here. Just give me one more fucking day. Jesus. I didn't mean to hit save. Um, all right. Um, what to do? What's on the docket? What can I do today before I could say whatever? What haven't I shown off today? Uh, I know no one wants to hang out because it's, it's almost time to, to... Oh, you know what? Wh you know what? I have armor. I could just spend de the time in the laundromat. Unless Kawakami wants to do it now. Uh... I only have this. Yeah. How many deals do I have? Do I have enough for all of them? I guess I do. Yeah, we'll run watch. Cause I think this is just women's armor, so I just need enough for Haru, Makoto, and on. Yeah, I know it's shaking a lot. It smells silt from the bathhouse, bathhouse next door. All right, what we got? We got the c c comrade towel. Let's head back. Neat. I wonder how better is it with compared to the equipment that we have right now. This is my final request. I ask that you vote for me. Those election cards are so obnoxious. I ask for support from you, my constituent constituents. It's already election day. I, Masayoshi Shido, will renew this nation. Damn brat! I'll sue! Uh. Yeah, I know if I don't send it tomorrow, it's all over. Shut up! I'm just getting some last minute prep. Uh, anyways. Uh, ooh, that's a lot better. And reduces fire damage. Which is pointless for On because she already she already has resistance. I think she neutralizes it. Yeah, we can give them all to Haru. Or give them all to the girls. All right, cool. Um, all right, let's go hang out with the twins again. But before that, no, let's hang out with the twins again. Where are they at? Velvet room. All right, cool. Hey, you guys want to go somewhere? What are you gonna do today? No. All right, let's see. Where we're going is one halfway detached from this world. It is said the time spent there is like that of a dream. Men and women of all ages swarm the land, forgetting reality in search of happiness and wonder. This sounds like a similar form of escapism as the fantasies we saw in the movie theater. A sinister trapped in score in score cells in score cells in in score in score cells. The humans. If a place truly exists, then we must observe it in action ourselves. Does this location sound at all familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then the score is there immediately. It could be Destiny Land. What'll you do? Let's go to Destiny Land. <laughs> Destiny Land? Hmm, what an absurd name. Come on, let's get going, inmate. Go, go! Caroline. Caroline, what excites you so? You know, I forgot to keep forgetting to check to see if there was a crossword puzzle. <gasps> that bear's walking on its hind legs! Is it a demon of some sort? Is there a king living in that castle? Shouldn't we pay him our respects first? Oh, the parade's starting! Go, go, go! What? What? What, what is that thing? It's huge! This gleeful music, the rhythmic, monotonous dancing, the grins plastered across every spectator's face. <sighs> this overstimulation is making me grow dizzy. Aha! Uh -huh. This is a brainwashing scheme, isn't it, inmate? Everybody, clap your hands. Hey, are you brainwashed now, too? Quickly, Caroline, slap him back into reasoning. Or, <laughs> slap him back into reason. Failing that, try your baton. Please don't. <laughs> it appears you're off sound mind now. Are you joking? Way to confuse us, stupid. Although, it may benefit us to investigate just how they pull off such a successful mass brainwashing. Justine, let's conduct an inspection of the premises. Lead the way, inmate. Huh. That wasn't nearly as impressive as I expected. You say that now, despite appearing quite captivated before. 
What is it with what with your outburst? Er, what with your outburst? Like that bear is so cute, and let's get in line to meet the characters and so forth. What? I, I said nothing of the sort. I was merely going through the motions in the guise of the of a brainwashed human. That's all it was. Come on, Look, go. there's another line. Let's see where it goes. Uh, I guess I suppose we don't have a choice now. We be we had better catch up to her inmate. I can't believe we stood in line for... I don't even know how long. It only led to a bathroom. I was hoping we'd get to ride in one of those massive crazed teacups going about in circles. Hey, inmate. What was that, inmate? A fantastical trip. The stalls were lit with chandeliers and sinks looked as if they were designed for royalty. Were we actually in someone's palace that whole time? Well, that was fun. I mean, that was a functional assignment, but we had enough for today. Time to head back. Just a moment, Caroline. I have heard it is customary to bring back some sort of token gift for one's superiors after visiting a place such as this. We should buy something for our master while we have the chance. I per I perused the wares on I perused the wares on display earlier. The mouse ears or the stuffed bear? Which do you think our master would prefer? Probably the bear. A master cuddling a stuffed bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justine? Uh, it seems that even I could not avoid the brainwashing. Uh, please keep this a secret from our master. In any case, we have confirmed the existence of a world of dreams. As such, we formally acknowledge your assignment is complete. Here's your reward. Tetracorn! Do I get my car, Karn? Damn. Look at, the look at the smiles on these people's faces. It's as if they've been liberated from their everyday lives. A human's desire to dream even reaches into the ti their time in the waking world. A rather curious phenomenon for us as we dwell in the space between dream and reality. Ooh, is another brainwashing parade beginning? Let we have return. no need for that again. Let us return, inmate. I think Caroline likes the parades. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know we'll go to the hideout today. We'll do it next time. I, this might be a bit of a shorter episode, but trust me when I say this, it's better that I split it up like this than to, you know, have another ridic ridiculously long episode. Hope you're ready for a fight, because th this is it. This is the fight we've been waiting for.